Okay. All I gotta do is walk in a straight line. It's so simple. Focus. Straight line. to trinity kids i hope you guys all had a fantastic week this past week but this next week here guys it's going to be twice as awesome because we have some epic stuff in store for this video right now because we are learning all about focus this week as you probably figured out before we need to do a lot of focusing and you know what helps me focus the trinity kids values of course same with me first love jesus because god is love and loved us first second love others because god loves all people Third, change the world, because it's not only about us. And fourth, have fun, because God gives us joy. Okay, now that we're able to focus on those values, we need to take a look at this week's segments. First up, we have challenge time. We're going to go fishing, but not the normal fishing that you would like normally think of when you say fishing. It's kind of like a different fishing. You'll see what happens. Then we have worship. We're going to sing and dance along with the Trinity Kids team. And then, to finish off, we're going to have our segment Discover, where we will discover this week's rhythm. Now, let's head right on in to challenge time. Hello, everybody. Welcome to challenge time, where we are playing a challenge in this challenge time. So, guys. <laughs> we're playing a challenge in this challenge time? Yeah, we are. Sweet. I love challenges challenge. in challenge time. It's a real challenge <laughs> that you okay. guys could easily play at home this week. All you really need is two plates, some goldfish, and a straw. Now... Did I say you could eat the goldfish, Jared? Oh my goodness, Jared, you can't eat the game. It's... Jared! <gasps> All right, anyways, I'll just keep explaining how the game works. So how this game works, as you guys know, we're talking about Peter. Uh, the, today we're gonna be talking about Peter, and so he's a fisherman, and so I thought, you know, we can't really go outside and fish, because we're just not good enough fishermen. So I thought, why don't we do goldfish fishermen, and we'll be called goldfish men. So now we, now the goldfish men will complete this challenge, where we have to take our straw, and by using purely the air in our lungs that God gave us, to hold on and suction a goldfish from this plate to this plate. Now, it might seem hard, but it's not actually that hard. And we get 90 seconds. So that's one Wait, minute and 30 seconds. So is it a challenge or not a challenge? It is a challenge because <laughs> it's hard, but it's not hard. Okay, God. It's hard to do fast. Because today is all about speed. speed. Gotcha. And so can we stay focused? Because that is also where Can we stay focused long enough to maintain the smooth rhythm of catching fish and placing fish in our net plate? There you go. So Our net plate. Our plate net, yep. So Perfect. Love we have it. 90 seconds. Me versus Jared. Whoever has the most fish at the end is the ch absolute king gold fisherman. Let's find out. Are you ready, Jared? All right, producer. On the count of three. Three, two, one, go. There's a little, I don't know if you can see this, there's a huge goblet of <laughs> bit right there. Oh, that was the one in, and it's- Ah, in. it's all salty. How? That was fun. I was starting to get two at once. Did you ever get two at once? There was a few. I did not want to stop my rhythm in order to let you know how awesome it was, but I got two at once. <laughs> that was my little woohoo! A two for straw. Yeah, you know what? If we just <laughs> compare plates, I guess you'd kind of dominate it. Wow. That is- Right on the nose. Right 90 on the seconds. Nose. And you finish. Well- And I finished. Congratulations, Jared. You are officially the gold fisherman. There you go. How do you feel? The gold, I feel great. Good. I would love for you guys to play that game at home. Please do. And uh, I would love for you to tag us at Train Kids Kelowna because uh, on Instagram, we'd love to see you uh, face off against a challenge, not challenge against somebody in your house. But that'd be super sweet. Yeah, do okay. it. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's really fun. Make sure you guys do it. Plus you get a snack after. Oh, a delicious snack. All right, guys. Well, we'll see you later. I'd rather slip walking on water than spend my life 
wondering what if Lord if it's you tell me to come cause you alone can tame the wildest wind cause I know I can make it cause it was your voice that I heard so I'm stepping out I'm stepping out on your word this is how you walk how you walk on water one foot in front of the other never gonna let you go under just put one foot in front of the other I got a faith that's deeper than feelings cause I know a name that's greater than the storm and I've got a God who never ever fails me he's close enough to catch me if I fall I know I can make it cause it was your voice that I heard so I'm stepping out I'm stepping out on your word this is how you walk how you walk on water one foot in front of the other never gonna let you go under just put one foot in front of the other this is how you walk how you walk on water one foot in front of the other never gonna let you go under just put one foot in front of the other this is how you walk how you walk on water one foot in front of the other never gonna let you go under just put one foot in front of the other I'm stepping, I'm stepping out on your word. 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 Hey, come on, it goes left. Right now, walk it out. It goes left. you go under just put one foot in front of the other this is how you walk how you walk on water one foot in front of the other that's how you walk never gonna let you go under just put one foot in front of the other walk it this is how you walk how you walk on water one foot in front of the other never gonna let you go under just put one foot in front Man, I love that song. So, so good that we got to be able to worship together today. That's sweet. Today's story as we jump in is something that happened between Jesus and his closest friends, the disciples. Now, the disciples had received some terrible, awful news. Jesus' cousin, John the Baptist, had been killed by King Herod. And Jesus and his friends took a boat across the lake to find a, shh, a, a quiet place. But you know what happened? 
Yeah, the crowds followed them. And so there, Jesus fed more than 5,000 people with only five loaves of bread and two fish. And then Jesus told the disciples to get back into the boat and go to the other side of the Sea of Galilee. So they climbed into the boat, ready for a peaceful sail across the Sea of Galilee. <laughs> so nice, hey? <laughs> so the disciples set off across the Sea of Galilee, rocked gently by the wind back and forth, and the crowds on the shore slowly dispersed and went on their way home. And finally, at last, Jesus was all alone. And so he climbed up high on the mountainside to pray. He poured out his heart as he talked to God. And while Jesus prayed, evening turned to night and, and night stretched toward morning. What? Oh no. Something bad is about to happen. A wind, it was the wind across the lake. It grew wild and instead of reaching land, the disciples, they were, they were tossed back, back and forth on, on the rising waves in their boat. It was taking up water, they were trying, trying to throw it up and the wind and the waves continued to pound this small boat and the disciples could barely see through the spray. And then, just before dawn, the disciples suddenly saw something on the wall. What is it? They, they can't see. What, who is it? It was a... It was a shape, a, a person. Everyone stared into the gloom, trying to make out the murky figure that approached them on the stormy sea. Was it a ghost? And then in Matthew, he says, but the figure called out to them. It was Jesus. He said, be brave, it is I, don't be afraid. And then Peter, he fixes his gaze on the figure. Lord, is it you? He says, if it is, tell me to come to you on the water. And Jesus told Peter, he says, come. So Peter grabbed the edge of the boat and he threw his legs over the side. And then impossibly he stood, he stood on the water. Peter locked his eyes on Jesus. Step one. And he took one step and then another step. And then a third one. But then Peter took his eyes off Jesus. He looked at the waves instead that were raging around him and, and he was terrified. And it says in the Bible, he says, Peter lost his footing and the water sucked him down and he began to sink. He cried out to Jesus, save me. Immediately, Jesus reached out and caught Peter's hand. And he says, your faith is so small, Jesus said. Why did you doubt me? And then Jesus helped Peter. Oh, that's nice. Jesus helped Peter over the side and got into the boat and Jesus got in too and the wind died down and the water became smooth and still as glass. And Jesus' friends stared at him in awe and they worshiped Jesus saying, you really are the son of God. So free of the storm, the boat sailed smoothly across the water just like they'd hoped in the beginning. And as day broke, Jesus and his friends landed at Gennesaret after a night they would never ever forget. Peter and the disciples had seen for themselves how important it is to stay focused on Jesus. Jesus was with them in the storm. He was with Peter when Peter stepped out onto the water. And when Peter kept his eyes on Jesus, he was able to do the impossible and walk on top of the waves. But then something happened to Peter that also happens to you and I sometimes. Peter got distracted. He took his focus off Jesus and he focused instead on his problems. Now, Peter's problems were the obvious things in the story, right? He was in a storm, so the wind, the waves, the storm. And our problems might be something we, they're different than what Peter's were, but it might've been something that we really wanted to do that got canceled or someone that you really love is getting sick or you have friends or family who are struggling to get along. There could be any number of things that might not go the way that you expected them to. That, and those would be storms in your own life. And if you want to have the strength and the peace and the confidence that when storms like that happen, you and I can focus on Jesus. Because when you focus on Jesus, the situation around you, it loses its power, doesn't it? And then that allows God to work in that situation. So even when the things in life are really difficult and you don't know really what to do, stay focused on Jesus. And so how do you do that? 
Well, we've been talking about rhythms this month and well, we need to develop a rhythm to focus on Jesus. And a rhythm are things that we do, repeated patterns that will help us stay focused on Jesus throughout our days and our weeks. So here are the things that when distractions come, what ways can you remember that you are loved and that Jesus is always with you? And one way that you could try this is through a breath prayer. It's a short prayer to God during one breath. And it goes something like this. It can go, uh, you breathe in and you go, I don't need to be afraid. And then as you breathe out, God is with me. And there are always great ways and time to read your Bible. A great way to do this is with the Bible app. You know, it tracks your streaks, like how many days you read in a row and it has plans to help you out. And your parents would be a great pe person to talk to or the, the adults in your home would be a great person to talk to about how to set that up for you. Now with these rhythms, you'll find the confidence to weather any storm so that you can focus on Jesus. Now, before we go, we want to take a moment to pause the video and answer two questions and take on this week's challenge. So question number one, what is something that distracts you from God? And number two, what is one thing you're going to do this week to focus on God? So pick a rhythm and practice it this week. And that was such a sweet story. So much craziness happened and it was so cool to see what it looks like to focus on Jesus and how we can do that. But before you guys go, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and you share it with all your friends because you want them to experience what you just experienced as well. So guys, thanks so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure doing this for you guys. We'll see you later.